Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Recently, I got a lot of questions about external hard disks not showing up in the computer folder or not mounting automatically after migrating from mechanical hard disks to SSD or just after cloning from one disk to another. This in a way is an extension of the video I made some time ago on how to clone a hard drive or SSD in Windows for free. That video comes in handy if you are migrating from mechanical hard drive to SSD or if you want to switch from smaller to a larger SSD. Then you should definitely follow the procedures I showed in that video. I will leave the link down in the description. And with that said, let's get back to the issue at hand. So what happens is when I connect my external disk to the laptop, first I get the usual device connection sound. But then when I go back to my computer folder, nothing shows up. I wait for some time. Refresh, but nothing. Now when I open the disk part command by simply going to search, type in disk part in full, click on disk part from the search results, hit yes on the user account control, and then you should have the disk part prompt as you can see here. Of course, you can also go through the normal command prompt and just type disk part to get to the same terminal. And while here, type the command list disk and hit enter. Now you should have a list of the disks currently attached to your computer. And here you can see I have a second disk, which is the external hard disk I just attached. However, this disk has not been mounted, so I cannot access it from my computer folder. I cannot read to it. I cannot write to it. There are three possible ways to resolve this issue. One is quicker but kind of temporal, while the other two require a bit more but are permanent. I'll be covering all three in this tutorial in the order of complexity. The quicker but temporal fix is to manually mount the external disk by assigning a drive later to it. However, after you unmount or disconnect this disk and mount another disk, then you will need to mount it again when next you attach it to the same computer. This might be an option if you don't use external disks too often or if you quickly want to access your disk without having to run all the commands in the second or third method, then just go for it. However, if you want a permanent fix, then carefully follow the second procedure and maybe the third procedure as well and you will have that without much hassle. So starting with a quick fix, simply go to your Windows search and type create and format hard disk partitions. Click on the corresponding result from the search. A window like this should pop up. Here, as you can see, I have two disks, disk 0 and disk 1. Disk 0 with drive later C is of course my main hard drive, while disk 1, which is the external hard drive I just attached, has no drive later. And that is what needs to be fixed. From here, I will simply right click on this space right here and select change drive later and parts. Here, click on add and then it will suggest a drive later for your external disk. You can change this later if you want as long as the later you are choosing hasn't been assigned to any other disk. I will just go with the suggestion and hit OK. Now you should immediately see your external disk open up or appear in your computer folder. Pretty simple. But again, like I mentioned earlier, this is a quick and temporal fix. So when you detach and reattach this external disk after mounting another disk, then you will need to repeat this process again. Now for a permanent solution, you need to have Windows mount your disk automatically once connected. For that, you need to first ensure the virtual disk service is up and running. To do that, simply press the keyboard combination, Control, Shift, Escape, and you should have your task manager pop up. You can also search task manager from Windows search and click on the corresponding result to bring up a window like this. Here, click on the services tab, and then close to the bottom of the window, click on open services. On the services window, search for virtual disk. You can simply click on this blank space and then hit the V key to take you to services starting with later V. And here we have the virtual disk service right at the top. Now you want to ensure the status of this service says running and that the startup type says manual. If you have anything different from this, then double click on it. And here use the drop down to select manual on the startup type. And if yours is not already running, then hit start to get it started. Next, you want to make sure that automatic mounting of volumes is enabled on your computer. For that, you need to run the disk part command once again. So go to your search and type disk part, right click on disk part from the search results and select run as administrator. On the disk part prompt, type the command auto mount and hit enter. Here, as you can see, it says automatic mounting of new volumes disabled. To turn that on, simply type the command auto mount enable and hit enter. 
you should say automatic mounting of new volumes enabled. Now type exit and hit enter to close the disk part. Restart your computer and try connecting your external disk to see if it now shows up in the computer folder. However, if you notice that this problem persists with a particular external disk, then it's likely that that disk or certain partitions of the disk have some attributes that prevent the disk from showing up in the computer folder or getting automatic drive later assigned to it by Windows. To resolve that, we need to identify and clear such attributes. To do that, go back to the disk path with admin privilege. On the disk path prompt, type the command list disk and hit enter. You should have your disks listed. Here my attached disk is disk1, so I will type select disk1 and hit enter. With disk1 selected, type the command list part and hit enter. Now that should list all the partitions you currently have on the external disk. Here I have only one partition, which is partition1, so I will type select partition1 and hit enter. Next type attributes volume and hit enter. This should show the current attributes of the selected partition. Here as you can see this partition is set to hidden and also no default drive later can be assigned to it. To clear those two attributes and to revert back to default settings, type the command attributes volume clear no default drive later as shown on the screen and hit enter. It should say volume attributes cleared successfully. Then next type attributes volume clear hidden as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now you should have your external disk open up immediately. Then you can just go back to the terminal and type exit to complete the process. And that is it for this tutorial. I will leave a link to the written instructions for these solutions down in the description together with the commands I used for the second and third suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates for future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.